And, and so, Prof, you have um, attracted a lot of attention. We've already spoken about COVID and you're explaining to us the pain of seeing uh, the patients struggling, suffering, and some of them actually uh, dying in, 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 in front of you. You have been very consistent, Prof, in terms of uh, your message uh, to Zimbabweans regarding the pandemic. Do you think the message that you've been disseminating is getting through? Yes, well, first when I began, people thought it was a joke and uh, an alarmist and so forth. But now with these uh, rapid rises of deaths, which almost every day you are hearing, people are now beginning to take, um, take this thing seriously. So I'm, I'm happy that at least the message is uh, getting home because the idea is to prevent people from, uh, from dying from this virus. It's not good to let our own compatriots die on mass. It's not good at all. Mm. So I'm happy that uh, eventually the message is great, getting home. Mm. And Prof, if there was one message that you would uh, share with Zimbabweans right now mm. concerning COVID, what would that message be? That message would be, look, we find ourselves globally, even here in Zimbabwe, faced with a terrible, terrible situation of a terrible virus, which nobody knows. Even up to now, nobody knows about this virus. It keeps changing and it's, it's a killer. And there is no way as Zimbabweans we are going to face this virus. We don't have the resources to face it. If we were to face this virus on mass, we are going to die. If we were to go out and face it, because we have no defense against this virus, nobody is caught. So the moment you get infected, you will, some of them may recover. In the first wave, people were recovering. But now the virus is much, much serious threat to people's lives. And it can kill you within days. So you have to respect the virus. You, don't, you have to listen to the advice given. You have to follow the guidelines as to be safe until we know what is really happening with this virus. Nobody knows at the moment. What advice is that, Prof, that you're giving, that you'd want to share with members of the public? What's that one message that you want to share with the members of the public? Yeah, so that message is that at the moment, we must prevent being infected. Mm. So we take all steps to prevent getting infected in the first place. Because once we are infected, we, one, we may not have results. And you have to take Stay extreme measures to make sure the virus doesn't get into your body. Mm. Because even if it does, and you've seen it even in, in, in developed countries, people die there with all the machines, with all the ventilators. So the best way to do is to make sure this virus doesn't get into your body. Mm. You have to prevent it. Mm.